Welcome to the Design Master Electrical video tutorial series. This series will show you how to start a new project, use alignment points in your drawings, create and manage panels and other distribution equipment, generate and modify a one-line diagram, create light fixtures and receptacles, circuit devices, create and circuit equipment connections and switches, and perform point-by-point -point photometrics. If you'd like to follow along, links to the written tutorial and project files can be found in the description at the bottom of this page. This video covers point-by-point -point photometrics. Topics include adding IES files to the light fixtures, configuring light fixtures on the drawing, performing photometric calculations, and inserting photometric solids. Let's get started. When creating light fixtures in the project schedule, which was covered in Part 4, photometrics information can be entered manually or imported from an IES file provided by the manufacturer. To demonstrate, we've created light fixture S, which uses the single pole mounted block. Press the Select IES File button. Then open the 400 watt file. Values such as the lumens and number of lamps will be imported automatically. You can also import additional information about the fixture that will appear when the schedule is inserted on the drawing, but does not affect photometrics calculations. Press the Yes button to import this information. Set the arm length, voltage, and mounting, and save your changes. Press the Copy button and name this fixture S2. Set the block to dual pole mounted 180 offset and the number of heads to two 180 degree offset. Then save your changes and close the dialog box. Run the insert light fixture command. Here you can select whether the light fixture is used for general lighting egress lighting, or both. This will determine whether the light fixture is included when general and egress calculations are performed. Select the S light fixture, set the elevation to 20, check the general light box, and begin inserting the light fixtures on the drawing. Run the insert light fixture command again, and do the same for the S2 light fixture. Your drawing should look like this when you finish. Before calculations can be performed, we need to define the area on the drawing to be calculated using the Insert General Photometric Calculation Area command. This dialog box allows you to set a title for the calculation schedule, the grid spacing, the calculation elevation, and more. For now, we'll use the default schedule title grid spacing at 10 feet, and calculation elevation at 0. Press the OK button to begin drawing the boundary of the calculation area. The boundary is drawn the same way as any other polygon in AutoCAD. Once your calculation area looks like this, press Enter to finish the command. You will then be prompted to insert the calculation schedule for the area. Now that we've inserted our light fixtures and calculation area, we can calculate the foot candle levels for the area using the Calculate General Photometrics command. In this dialog box, you can set the intervals and colors of contours, how foot candle levels are displayed, the calculations shown in the schedule, and more. For this calculation, we'll use the default values and settings. Press the OK button to perform the calculation. When the calculation is finished, your drawing should look something like this. To represent objects that block light, such as buildings, use the Insert Photometric Solid commands. These commands can be used to add single lines for walls, rectangles, or polygons for irregular shapes, such as the building in this drawing. In the dialog box, you can set a starting and ending elevation and a reflectance value for the object. For this shape, we'll use the default values of 0, 20, and 0.5.
Press the OK button to begin drawing the solid around the building. The process is the same as with the calculation area. Your photometric solid should look like this when you're finished. Run the Calculate General Photometrics command. Notice how the photometric solid affects the calculation. This concludes the Design Master Electrical video tutorial series. For more information about our software, you can read the user manual or visit the knowledge base using the links at the bottom of this page. You can also contact us by calling 866-516-9497 or emailing support at designmaster.biz. Take care.